Here's how I get our split casings ready from start to finish. Accurate, aligned and ready to use. Using the Roma arm with Polyworks, I capture precise dimensional data and verify it against every single dimension on the drawing including full alignment and concentricity checks. Without this, there's no guarantee the casing will perform reliably. Next, I trace both halves onto paper to compare their profiles, checking for mismatches or offsets between the faces. The bottom half is traced in pencil to capture the flow profile. That tracing is then transferred onto the top half to compare geometry. Any overhanging areas are marked in red, indicating excess material that needs to be removed. This will be marked with a center punch. Here's how it looks after the tracing paper is removed. We can see where we need to take excess material off to match the top and bottom together. Then carefully ground back using a die grinder to achieve a clean face match. This reduces internal turbulence, maintains efficient flow paths and prevents high velocity water from eroding uneven surfaces, ultimately improving pump performance and extending service life. With everything aligned, I have fastened the blanking flanges and start torquing the top bolts down. In quality control, we test every single thread, making this step easy. Once assembled, it's pressure tested to confirm integrity and seal, then it's off to paint so it's not going to rust away. This one is being painted in N53 blue grey to meet our client's spec. I will cut and shape some blanking flanges with a bandsaw and disc sander to assist in sealing the inside of the pump from the elements and pests. Then it's packed and ready for dispatch. We will bolt it down, strap it and wrap it so it comes to you in perfect condition. Precision matters, and this is how I make sure it's done properly every time.